What is going on YouTube? My name is Brent and welcome to part 15 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Flappy Birds. So in this tutorial we're going to edit a few files but most importantly we're going to be showing you how to run your game on your Android device. So if you're interested in that go ahead and stick with me. So by default, uh, LibGDX sets up your projects to run your game in landscape mode. If you don't know what landscape mode is, it's like this, like, you know, your horizontal phone mode. Um, but we actually want to run our game in portrait mode, which of course is like this. And so to do that, I need you to go to the Android folder inside your project directory. And you'll go down to the Android manifest.xml file. And then you should see screen orientation. And what we're going to do is change that from landscape to portrait, and that's it. So if you remember a, a while back in one of our videos, I talked about cam set to ortho, and we put that in the play state. Now false meaning uh, where the Y coordinate starts. Does it start in the top left-hand corner or the bottom left-hand corner? It's zero. And then these two parameters being uh, the viewport width and height. Now what we're going to do here is we're actually going to copy this and put it into the menu state as well because that's uh, going to help us on our actual phone. Also what we want to do is similarly to our play state is we set our projection matrix and uh, if you don't remember what that is you'll have to go back a few videos uh, but basically it's uh, the coordinate system on the game screen as to where we are in our game world and so um, we're going to do that again here sb dot set projection matrix to cam dot combined and then um, instead of using the flappy demo height and width uh, to draw our play button we're going to use the cams position so cam dot position dot x minus um, the play button dot get width divided by two so we're gonna it would draw it a little bit offset so we're gonna subtract half of the play buttons width to get it centered into the screen and then on the y-axis we just care about the cam dot position dot y um, and we'll just leave it at that and then we'll just go ahead and take these off because we're gonna let the phone decide uh, how wide the background and how tall the background is so there we go now we can go ahead and test it. So to test this, I actually had to remove my USB um, camera and insert my phone here. So my phone is connected to the computer. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to desktop and you're going to actually select Android. OK, and when you select Android, you can hit the run button. And um, when you first do this, you may get a pop up on the screen uh, that says something like, do you wish uh, the Android studios or this computer access uh, your phone and do, you know, do things like install and stuff like that. You'll go ahead and click OK and your device will show up it right here. And now so what I want you to do is to click OK. And what it's going to do is it's going to the first time you do it, it will actually install uh, the application on the phone and then as you can see it will run it and so we got our game here and let's see if I can do this upside down Wow I'm pretty good I'm not gonna lie so there we go that is how to install and run your game on an Android device so that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We talked a little bit about how to change uh, from landscape mode to portrait mode and how to deploy your game to your Android device. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. If you are uh, feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.